Hello everyone and welcome to the same tutorial of Plexus. So today I'm gonna talk about slope stability uh, with pile to help the stability of the soil. But before I start, if you're into civil engineering, especially geotechnical engineering, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be a great help. So I've made a previous tutorial about slope stabilities and I've got a lot of uh, questions about the slope stability regarding the pile. When we do pile to uh, to have a more stable slope, so I've decided to make this software, uh, this uh, exercise about the piles. So first of all, I've drawn two material. So here it's not rock; it's a better soil than the first one. So the purpose of the pile is to transfer the forces from this soil to a better standing soil which in this case will be the rock soil so if there is no pile the load will be distributed from here directly to here to this soil which will create a failure in this slope in this tutorial the load will be distributed through the pile onto the rock soil which is a better soil than this one so I'm gonna tell you how I've drawn the soil how I've drawn the pile and everything. So first of all, we've drawn the soil. We've assigned the material to the soil. And then there's the pile. So the pile is drawn as an embedded beam. I went to here, I drawn an A, create, uh, create a embedded beam. And I've created my pile. So this is the first one. Uh, I've chosen the connection to rigid. I could have chosen it here to hinged. We can see how it's transformed from rigid to hinged or free. In most cases, it will be hinged. It will not be rigid. But in this case, I will leave it this way because it will not have a high effect on this exercise. It is very important to know that we've modeled a plate here. So the loads will be transferred from the plate through the pile. You cannot transfer the load directly from the soil to the pile. It will not work since this uh, software is a finite element software, which means if you put a load here, the load will be transferred through the soil. This is why I've drawn here a plate. Here you can see I've assigned a material to my plate. I've assigned here a material and also to my embedded beam which I've noted pile I've uh, drawn it as 2 meter in diameter you can see here the properties and the base resistant and the skin resistant as you know I've made from previous tutorial that a pile can withdraw skin force which would be friction force through all the soil and the base force here which is the higher force this is concerned the drawing and the and the loads. So this is the loads. I've generated my mesh here. Flow condition I've left it as it is. So here we've come to the stage con uh, const uh, construction. First of all, the first phase is K0 procedure. The second one is the plastic. Third one is a safety analysis. Phase three is another calculation. It's a plastic analysis and phase four is a safety. So let's see what we've done here. In phase one, I've only uh, activated the load and the plate. And in phase two, I've made the previous phase uh, as a safety analysis. And here in phase three, I've activated the piles. So the difference between these two phases and these two phases here is that the piles are activated in these phases. And then I've made a safety analysis here. So let's see the results. I've already calculated the results since they will take a, a good amount of time. So I've made the calculation to avoid long calculation. So you can see in phase one, the displacement is 11 centimeters. In phase three, when we activate this, uh, the pile, we can see the displacement went from 11 centimeters 
as we can see in phase one, how the soil will have the deformation here. You can see that the load went this way. In phase three, it went backwards. So there's no problem concerning the slope stability. This is the main point of this tutorial. Here you can see the deformation, which is here, mainly here. In phase one, you can see the formation, which is mainly here. And then we've made a safety analysis. You can see the difference between safety analysis and two, which will have a huge deformation, which should, which means it's the failure of this slope here. You can see in phase four, which is a very small amount of deformation, which means that when there was no pile, like here in phase two, such a large displacement means that there's a failure in this trench. Also here you can see the plastic points. You can see the failure points. You can see here that these are all failure points. And in phase four, we can see through the formation that there's a small amount of deformation, which means that the pile here worked very well concerning the safety of the slope. This is the purpose of the pile. So we've seen clearly how without and with the pile, uh, the displacement uh, went from a large displacement to a small displacement. Okay, I was gonna show you a curve, but I didn't assign a point. So in order to draw a curve, you should assign a point when you calculate uh, the results uh, it's from here select point for curve anyway i'm not going to do the curve in this tutorial uh, since this tutorial is for begin uh, is for advanced people and not beginners so here we can see also can see the difference between the displacement in phase one and phase three it's phase three we can see where the pile works we can see how the formation went through the deep soil the rock soil here this is the this, the large displacement here is due to the skin force i've assigned a uh, skin force i've assigned to this pile which in reality there will be not such uh, skin force here and I should have created a. Uh, uh, I should have created also here. Uh, uh, a interface, but I've forgotten to create the interface. This is why we have such a large displacement. Where we can see in phase one, there's no displacement in the rock soil. The only displacement is in the soft soil. Here we can see where the safety analysis, where the failure will start under the load. In phase four, we can see that it will start after the load, which means that the load here is totally transferred to the pile. And this failure here is only due to the self weight of the slope and not the loads. So this is all for this tutorial. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos.